Desi, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Well, good, good. I'm um, delighted to talk to you today. I was wondering if you could describe your journey to Kansas State. I mean, it was difficult, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like everybody else journey where they come on August, you know. I had to finish a couple classes and uh, situation, you know. I re the last eight weeks, I had to really sit down with, with, with pray about it, think about it. God. I mean, Coach Tang said that's one of the – he got put stress in my life to order for me to play good because when, when um, they had um, the Eric Thomas speaker and they did evaluation, like the airplane and stuff like that, he's like, to, for order for me to be my best, it got to be stress in my life. And I feel like that was stress, you know what I'm saying? Because I was messing out with the guys and – and I wasn't being here, and, and it, it really hurt me. And but it really made me reevaluate, try to get one percent better each and every day. And I feel like it paid off in the end. Now I'm here with guys, and I'm blessed to be here. When did you arrive in Manhattan for good? And walk me through that first day. Um, I arrived like October, like the twenty first, twenty second. Um, it was a beautiful day. Just happy to be here, man. Happiness, you know, just seeing the the people that everybody was talking about, seeing uh my coaches, loved how I was getting all love from teammates. They had a um a dinner at the house and they took me to Bramlage. I was like, yeah, I'm blessed to be here, and they was happy me up, and they was just glad that I was here as well. So they welcomed me with open arms, and I'm, I'm beyond blessed and I'm forever humble for that. When I was I was doing some research in June 2021, when you were at Jonesboro and you were introduced, you said, I want to put the city of Jonesboro on my back. Do you remember saying that? And where does that mentality come from? I mean, first and foremost, you know, I'm the first person ever to, in my family to, to play high major and, and one of the one of the top guys in Jonesboro, Arkansas history to ever play the game, you know what I'm saying, and basketball. And it, I always going to give credit to my city because it's a small town. Nobody really know about Jonesboro, Arkansas. So everywhere I go, I'm always going to rep Jonesboro because that's where I'm from, born and raised. So I'm going to give it back to my natural roots. And I get it. I give it credit to my mom, you know, because i seen her struggle but never give up. So I'm always going to go hard for her. So that every, each and every night, I, and then Bramble, y'all going to see me give 110% no matter what. Win or lose, I, I can score a lot of points, or, or if I don't score, I'm going to try to affect the game each and every way I can. Thanks so much. I guess I can. Uh, just go ahead, Alec. So, Desi, obviously this is your second Power 5 high major stop, like you kind of said a little bit earlier. Do you kind of use this as, like, a second opportunity to kind of really prove yourself at the highest level of playing college basketball? Um, my, my, yes, sir, because I know people, the coach staff, and I know what I can do, and I produce at Arkansas. Every sophomore year was one of my best years in college basketball besides last year, you know, and I did it at a Power 5 school, and I'm just trying to bring the same energy here. And this ain't a rebuilding stage at K-State, you know. We're going to come in, and we're trying to win right away and show why Coach Tan won a hell of a coach, and his coach staff what he brought in, and he brought in a lot of new guys, and I feel like we truly believe in them, and we're going to come put it all together and try to rock Bramlage out each and every night. And then can you just kind of take me through the process of your kind of whole basketball career in college of starting at Arkansas, then going to Arkansas State, and then coming back to the Power 5 level with K-State and what led you to each spot, I guess? Arkansas, you know, I'm from born and raised in Arkansas. I mean, everybody growing up in Arkansas is – Arkansas, University of Arkansas is like our professional team, you know, so – that's the, the main stage you want to play for them. And I, I, I feel like that's the best option was me when I was coming out of high school. And I was like, I'm going to do it. And I and I did it when you know, pretty much I won, you know what I'm saying? Each and every stop, you know what I'm saying? But I, I didn't want to leave Arkansas. I ain't just going to sit here and flex and lie to y'all, you know what I'm saying? But I had a shoulder injury. And 2020 messed up a lot of things, you know what I'm saying, with the COVID hit and stuff like that, because I was pretty much going to enter my name in a draft and just get try to work it out. I was averaging 11, had one of my best years. But COVID hit, came back my junior year, um, started off fantastic, you know, 14.2 points a game. You go look at the stats, the first 16 games are playing phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? Then we played, played Oral Roberts, had 16 to 10, had a shoulder injury, right? Everything went down here for since. You know what I'm saying? I was still working out, still trying to bounce back and stuff like that. But it gave 
it gave a coach the opportunity to play his recruits over me because I was not Coach Muslim recruit, but that ain't nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? But he won a hell of a coach and he know how to win. And I appreciate every opportunity that he gave me. You know what I'm saying? So I did commit to the University of Auburn, right? Um, I decommitted because I was like, nah, I want to I wanna come back to a program where I can show them they, I can win by myself and with a, with a team that they already had everybody returning. You know what I'm saying? So I said, and my, on top of my mom got sick, you know what I'm saying? So I made a family move or a business move. And I said, I'm going to come home to A-State. So that was 12 and 13 before I got there. And we finished 18 and 11 and then played three games that I know we could have won. So I was like, mm, I got, I'm going to get my degree. I got one more stop. Should I enter the should I, should I go pro or or try to try to come back to college and, and play at the highest level? You know what I'm saying? And I decided, sat down with God, it's like, all right, Coach you and Coach Ren called me and they gave me an offer and told me they want me to come to K-State. And I was like, I don't want to see it. I don't need to see um Manhattan. I don't want, I just want to come in and help win. And I committed right then and there. I ain't even come take a visit or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I just said I want to do it and I did it. And I, it took a long journey to get here, and I'm beyond blessed. And now I'm in K-State. I'm very proud. I'm coming along real well. But people don't understand. When I was gone, I know I'm talking a lot, but when I was gone, I wasn't. I ain't miss a beat because they had me on a plan. They had me one, one and two. Um, I'm working out with a GA on a on, on a Zoom call. Um, two to three lifting lifting weights with um, Coach Phil in the um in the weight room when I was working at the trim gym. I get two hour break. You know, five to six, um, Coach Perry, I'm on an offensive scheme, going to want to want to plant, um, learn all the plays. Um, five, to, um, five to six, I'm on a defense scheme with Coach Yu, learning all this stuff. So it's really, it was like I wasn't here, but I was here. You know what I'm saying? So you, um, each and every guy said, dang, Des, it looked like you didn't miss a beat, but they don't know what I was doing when I was gone. But it all paid off in the long run. I want to give all credit to God. So at the end there, you've talked about it all kind of paying off in the long run, right? And you've obviously had all these trials and tribulations, whether it's a shoulder injury, things that you went through with COVID, your mom getting sick, all those things. Like, what does this last opportunity mean to you? And what is it that you're trying to prove while at K-State? To me, it's just like, I, would, I, would, I got content, you know. The content is, um, I knew I was the man, one of the mans at Arkansas. And I, I wasn't working as hard and stuff like that. So I got a word to say hungry on my, I'm on my wall, I write it, I read it each and every day. Stay hungry. Don't ever get content because when you're not working, somebody else is out working you. You know what I'm saying? So each and every day, I just try to come in with a positive mindset, be a leader that I know I can be and just be the best teammate I can be. Like like I said, whatever Coach Tane need, Coach need me from that night, I'm going to do it. If it's need me to score a lot of points, I'm going to do it. If it need me to lock up the best player, I'm going to do it. need me to get the loose ball, take a charge, I'm willing to do it. I just want to win. You know what I'm saying? You go look at my resume, I did win at every stop. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just going to try to continue when, with the beautiful coaches that we got and want. And so we got a hell of a players here. So I'm just blessed to be a part of, for real. They was going to win without me, but I'm just blessed to help them be a part of, for real. Thanks, Sezzy. Appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, I was just curious, YK State, what, what stood out through the, those conversations with the coaching staff? Like you said, you didn't even see campus. So uh, what, what was it that made you made you pull the trigger without even getting to Manhattan? Because it's, I feel like, you know, you got the instinct in your heart and it tells you it's, it's genuine. It's real. And I'm pretty much y'all seen, y'all talk to Coach Tane and how real he is. He don't never sugarcoat it. He was genuine with God, first guy. He um, preached about the positivity and he always, he touched me. I don't know how, what way he touched me, but he touched me. And I felt like it was real genuine. And I was like, sure. As I got off the phone with Coach Yu and then Coach Tang called me, I was like, I'm gonna make the fish without, without a second guessing. I told my mom, no, I think this is the best option for me. Now I knew they had 11 guys coming back in. You had um, Keith and Ish, the two returning guys, but I was like, that don't that don't that don't mean nothing to me personally because like I'm like it's a brand new environment and coach coach won at, at 17 years at Baylor. You think he ain't gonna do it at K State? And I feel like I want to be a part of that as well. So I just I want I pull the trigger without second guessing. And I'm I'm just blessed to be here. I'm keep saying I'm blessed because I'm blessed for real. 
Love it, man. I love it. Uh, what's different about Coach Tang, whether it be from a relational standpoint or a coaching standpoint, what's different about him from other coaches that you've had? Um, Real dude, stand-up guy. He don't sugarcoat it. He going to tell you what it is and what it ain't. And he going to put you in the best, best position to win regardless. And that's one thing I like about Coach Tang, you know, and he's just a very genuine. That's one thing really stick, stick out and stand out to me. You talked about your family a little bit, and uh, you you had you were close to home for a while. You have come kind of a long ways now. K State preaches that family atmosphere. I know this coaching staff is really big on that. Is that something that attracted you? Just the way that they use the word family and the way that they show the word family that you're going along with your family, but you're almost making a little bit of a new family. Um, sort of. I am a family guy. I mean, being away from home is it, it's, it's tough, but. It's about making sacrifices, and I just a sacrifice I wanted to make seven hours away from crib, and this one of the, the things that I wanted to do. So I was like, I'm really do it because I normally stay in town, stay in Arkansas somewhere, Arkansas, just stay close to family. I was like, nah, it's time to really lock in, get away from a, a bad crowd. Not just saying I was with the bad crowd, just get away from like bad people or any anything that can distract me. You know what I'm saying? Because any little thing can distract you. And I just feel like I, I just feel like I had to get away, and I wanted to get away super far. And I, I chose K State. You know, and I'm just blessed to be a part of. For Last one for me. Uh, do you like Manhattan so far? You're pretty new here. You learning the restaurants. You're learning way around town. You at least know where the, the gym's at, right? So you got that. I, goal. Uh, favorite part to be yeah, Ice Ice Family Basketball Arena. That's what. That's most time I spend my time. But I only know about Walmart and Umi, something like that. You know, I went to Umi's one time. I'm trying to get still find my way around Manhattan, but. Hey, it's going to pay off, man. I'm going to keep asking my teammates what's the best spot to eat and what's, best, what's the best spot to go. <laughs> Thanks, man. You work. Anything else for Dazzy? I got a couple questions. Jasmine, go ahead. Go ahead, Jasmine. All right, so what is the best piece of advice you have gained from this coaching staff while you've been here? They they told me just be dead seals and dead seals they know I can be. And don't don't try to do don't try to go outside the box or just be you. And that's the best thing I'm gonna do is be me. Cause when a coach slap 100 percent believe in you and you don't got to second guess your talent, that's when you play your best. Got you. And how would your coaches and teammates describe you? Um, a go getter. I'm a hard worker and a leader. That's what they describe me as. Even though I've only been here a couple of weeks and it, most of the guys told me I, I look like the leader of the team, it ain't, it ain't forced. It's, it's very genuine. And they come up and tell me how, how much they appreciate and I'm here and I appreciate them that they say that to me and I appreciate that they allow me and welcome me with open arms. Awesome. That's all I got. You guys hit on a lot of the questions earlier. Right What's up, Desi? Um, I just got one for you. You know, when you committed to K-State, I, I thought of you as a, a real deal scorer, but you showed in the exhibition that you can be a, a real deal playmaker and Coach Tang has talked about that in the past. So is that something you're priding yourself on this season with K-State? Um, like I said, like I scored 1100 already in college. I, I'm a proven scorer. Um, a lot of people don't think um, I can really pass the ball. So I, I ain't really play point when I was in college because I can really shoot it. And, you know, I struggled last year behind the arc, but I can really shoot if you look at my career and how much I average behind the three-point line. But I just want to show guys that, like, when I can play, make, and, and be a defensive scopper. Whatever coach need me to do, like I said, I'm willing to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I showed a lot of guys, like, they, like, Desi got vision, and et cetera, et cetera, and got the fans doing their googly eyes and stuff like that. Um, I'm just blessed to, to see how I put an impact on, on the team and, how much they trust me with the ball in my hand to make a play. And actually one more, what do you, what's the relationship with uh, Marquise Noel been like and, and how excited are you to, you know, run the backcourt with him this season? Um, I'm very blessed to run with Marquise Noel because he, he one of the best, best guys that I've I seen so far. Just, just the way he passed the ball, the way, the way he can shoot the ball and to set it up. He's just a leader all around, you know, on and off the court. That's the guy you want to follow. That's the guy you want to be like. That man, he a true dude, man. Like he teaching me 
even though I wasn't here, he's still teaching me and just telling me when I'm here at the one, I'm at the two, just teach me how, what, what's the scenes and different things I can break the play off and stuff like that. So he a real dude and I'm very blessed to um, be a part of him. I feel like we can be not the one, two punch, but um, even on our defense end, we can be the best backcourt in the country. And I, and I, I really do mean it. I appreciate that. Is he excited to see you play on Monday? Yes, sir. Anything else for Desi? Okay. Thank you, Desi. Appreciate it, man. All right, see you.